Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review edition for Friday, May 12th. SOMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Carter. I'm Ivan. And here's what we have for you this week. There are a lot of things one can do with old shirts, but Nadia Valesco just wants to see them firmly clenched in the teeth of dogs. Nadia Valesco, a sophomore attending St. Mary's College of Maryland, came up with the idea to turn old t-shirts into dog toys. On May 4th, the 20-year-old and a few associates dropped off 63 of the toys in the Linda L. Kelly Animal Shelter in Prince Frederick. I feel really good knowing they're going to the dogs, Valesco said. Following up with some more good news, MDDC held its award show online this year from May 2nd to May 4th, where the Southern Maryland News won eight press awards from the Maryland-Delaware DC Press Association's annual contest, recognizing the best in the region's journalism Congratulations, Southern Maryland News. Caden Stoferon, a 16-year-old Boy Scout, saw a need for a place to turn in old American flags in the Leonardtown community, so he built two drop-off boxes. Stoferon is a member of Troop 793, sponsored by St. Mary's Optimist, and has been in the Scouts since he was seven and a half years old. His mother, Mary, remarked that she is proud of him for his hard work and the dedication to Scouts. As a part of the fiscal 2024 budget decision held Tuesday afternoon, Commissioners unanimously approved around 20 additions to the budget, including $50,000 for live entertainment at Regency Furniture Stadium and $57,000 in support of C.D. Moat Jr. Incentive Awards Program at the University of Maryland College Park. Commissioner President Reuben B. Collins II stated, It provides a great opportunity for young people in Charles County to attend the University of Maryland. The program is open to graduating seniors from Baltimore City, Charles County, Montgomery County, and Prince George's County. Now turning to sports. Just over an hour after watching their male classmates finally shake loose from a pesky rival to capture their respective conference tournament title, the St. Mary's College of Maryland's women's lacrosse team wasted little time ending any dramatics when it scored the game's first nine goals en route to a 23-6 victory over SUNY Morrisville in the United East Championships game late Saturday afternoon. St. Mary's College has earned the top seed and a chance to host the United East tournaments two weeks earlier by upending SUNY Mooresville 18-7 in a clash of previously unbeaten conference foes. For the second year in a row, right-hander Emma DeBoer was the pitching star as Calvert High, High School's softball team prevailed in its conference championship. The Cavaliers won the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference 2023 Championship 5-0 over the Chopticon Braves Tuesday afternoon at Calvert High. It was pretty awesome, said Calvert coach Lauren Robinson. It was the most well-rounded game of the season. That's all we have for you today on the Friday, May 12th edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Carter. I'm Ivan. Signing off.